Hi, my name is Lisa Sumner and I am a member of the Creditors' Rights team here at Nexon Pruitt. In this video, I will talk about the Perishable Agricultural Commodities Act and its impact on the rights of secured lenders. The U.S. Perishable Agricultural Commodities Act of 1930, known as PACA, regulates trading in perishable agricultural commodities such as fruits and vegetables. The PACA statute provides that upon delivery of a perishable agricultural product to the purchaser, a constructive statutory trust automatically arises for the benefit of the unpaid seller or supplier. The purchaser holds the agricultural products and all sale proceeds from those products in trust until the seller is paid in full. In order for PACA to apply to a particular sale, the produce purchaser must fit the statutory definition of a dealer, which generally includes anyone engaged in wholesale buying and selling of perishable agricultural commodities. The statutory definition is further limited to dealers whose purchases of perishable agricultural commodities exceed a certain dollar threshold in any one calendar year and who deal only with unprocessed foods, such as fresh vegetables and fruits, and not condiments, although somewhat surprisingly items like frozen french fries have been given PACA protection. Sellers also need to meet certain requirements to receive the benefits of PACA trust protection. Most notably, the law requires produce sellers to give written notice to dealers to trigger PACA trust rights. A seller who is a licensee under PACA must include the particular words set forth in the statute in prominent view on each invoice for agricultural products. Sellers who are not licensed under PACA are still required to give specific written notice of trust rights to dealers, but may do so through writings other than an invoice. When a perishable agricultural commodities dealer becomes financially distressed or files a bankruptcy petition, determining the existence of properly preserved PACA trust rights is critical. A PACA trust elevates a seller's rights above those of the dealer's secured creditors. Legally, a PACA seller still holds title to the agricultural products and their sale proceeds until the seller is paid in full. A PACA dealer merely holds the trust assets for the benefit of PACA sellers. Thus, lenders with claims secured by all of a PACA dealer's assets do not have liens on PACA trust assets and cannot reach trust assets to satisfy debts. In addition, a PACA dealer's secured lenders may be required to return or disgorge payments received from the dealer if the payment source was PACA trust funds. In a PACA dealer's bankruptcy case, PACA trust assets are not considered to be property of the debtor's bankruptcy estate. But the bankruptcy court does exercise jurisdiction to supervise distribution of the trust assets to PACA trust beneficiaries. A special procedure may be established for filing and distributing funds to PACA claimants, separate and apart from the regular bankruptcy proof of claim process. Secured creditors who would have a lien on the proceeds of the debtor's produce sales if PACA did not apply should ensure that someone familiar with PACA law reviews the facts of the case to determine whether sellers actually satisfied PACA requirements to obtain trust protection. If you have any questions or need more information, please call me or any of the other members of the Creditors' Rights Team here at Nexon Pruitt.